One piece of equipment that you're definitely gonna need is the laser cutter. So today I'm gonna show you exactly where to find it. Let's go over some of our equipment. First of all, we'll be going to underwater caves and underwater caves are quite dangerous. I will be taking a rebreather with me, a high capacity tank. Of course I have fins because it's gonna allow me to swim faster. If I can get faster to an oxygen plant or the surface or my sea truck, this is a win in my book. You will need a compass so that you can find the directions. Now from here, we're gonna turn ourselves east, southeast, about one click to the right of east. Of course, you don't need your sea truck, but it kind of puts a little bit of mobile oxygen right near the entrance. You come across these without your sea truck, be careful and stay away from them as they can freeze you. There's also a little fish that swims around here and he has like a little blow spout. He definitely will freeze you and if you don't break out soon enough, you will drown. As we come down into the Arctic kelp, we're going to the Arctic kelp caves. I'm going to actually put myself about right here, I think. The laser cutter fragments aren't just in the sea monkey nests. Ooh, crash fish. They can be found on the floor. Here we have the propulsion cannon. Here we found fragment one. We'll be needing three fragments for this. Pretty much hitting every oxygen plant as I go, just to keep myself topped up. Here we got the second fragment. And as I said, they can be on the floor, but it's quite hard to spot. You can miss them. And here is the third. Now, it is random what spawns in here, so you'll need to continually search through, which is why I recommended the high capacity your tank at least and your rebreather. Once you have all three fragments, you can exit. If you found the guide useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss another guide when I upload.